Portland is many cities. A city of progressive, forward-thinking values, seen by many as a model for the nation. A city of natural beauty and vibrant public spaces. A community that treasures individuality and freedom of expression. But for many local children enslaved by human trafficking and commercial sexual exploitation, Portland looks very different. They don't see a city where dreams can come true. They see a place of nightmares. They are forced to live out every day. It's really difficult to know that there's a girl, probably more than one right now, being raped in a hotel room. These are young children. They're being sold for sex. They're in this community, and the men buying them are in this community. I don't think that people truly understand the scope of this problem and what it really involves. There are hundreds of young kids in Portland who are trafficked, sex trafficked on the streets, both boys and girls. The Junior League of Portland has joined the fight to end the nightmare of sex trafficking through advocacy and raising awareness. A new video produced by the Junior League features straight talk from law enforcement, nonprofit leaders, and survivors about the reality of this crisis. Here in Portland, where we have more uh, nude dancing clubs than any city in the United States, uh, where uh, a lot of people appear to view adult prostitution as a victimless crime, uh, that really creates a climate uh, for this to flourish. It creates a climate where it's okay for men to pay money to buy people's bodies for sex. There are men that look like me that are paying money to have sex with your daughter. And why is that allowed? Why do they get away with that? It could be your daughter, it could be your neighbor's daughter, it could be your family member, your cousin's daughter. It could be a neighbor in your community and you would never know it. This isn't just a law enforcement issue, it's a child welfare issue, it's a social and moral values issue. Uh, it's really an issue that we all need to stand up and, and decide whether or not this is the community that we want to live in, is a community where children are raped in hotel rooms for money. You can't put your head in the sand, that's not going to solve the problem and you need to address it, whether it's you address it with the kid or you address it with their parents, you notify law enforcement, you notify someone in the community, but it's a problem that will never go away if people don't pay attention to it and do something about it. Everyone is good at something, so you know, if you have something that you're good at, there's a way that you can help. Every little bit counts, and, and sometimes we think that, that, oh, it's just some big organization that can go down on the streets or, you know, the, uh, law enforcement or something like that. But there are a lot of areas that can make a difference. If people want to um, just join uh, different fundraising events, do it. If you want to join a church and start a human trafficking ministry within that, do it. If you want to get into schools, do it. Um, there's so many ways to reach out. By talking to a child, by being a mentor, by engaging in with kids in positive uh, pro-social activities. There can be hope if people come together and do something about it.